Yeah, boy. How are things going in Zimbabwe these days? Sterling, spectacular and amazing, I'm sure. Because now Comrade President Bob Mugabe is gone. The new president, the crocodile, Emerson Nangagwa, is in charge and things are looking up. They've even got this new telegenic ex-Oxford professor of economics, Mtuli Ngube, in as the finance minister. He's doing worldwide tours. I'm sure the aid money is flowing in, the economy is strong, GDP is rising. Uh, not so much. It turns out that if you screw the pooch so hard like they did, <laughs> when you get a reputation for being the worst run country in the entire world, it takes a while before the confidence returns. Remember, they have moved into a new economic environment where they are using their own local currency again. It is pegged to the US dollar, but there are severe cash shortages, foreign exchange, zero null nother, mass unemployment, absolutely shattered infrastructure, and confidence is not returning so soon. Hyperinflation, basically almost everything is in short supply, fuel, massive long queues, even KFC shut down. And this week it turns out that the major brewery is having production problems and people are panic buying beer. That's how well it's going in Zimbabwe at the moment. <laughs> panic buying beer. <laughs> Right, clothing fails. We haven't had those on here for a while. These things are fantastic. Wait till you see what we've got in store. These mostly came from a website called Board Panda. Let's start with a t-shirt that says Saturday across the chest. But if you wear it with a cardigan, it comes out looking like that. <laughs> Turd. Well, that's not very nice. But um, what about this next shot? This is of someone who invented a pair of shoes that <laughs> the high heels actually little have high heels of their own. That's not very nice. I don't think so, no. Well, what about these uh, dirty shirts? <laughs> now, I mean, that is really more of a fabric fail than a clothing fail because the fabric is probably the problem here. I mean, how is that ever going to work? This looks like someone who spilled coke down the front of their shirt in the food court. Wash it. Well, what about these sandal boots? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I think we, I'm calling the police. This is unacceptable. <laughs> or um, this... This swimming costume, right? So this is for a little person, uh, and I suppose those things <laughs> up the side are, are flotation devices. But how does that mesh with the cow outfit at the top? And I'm sorry, but that looks like a suicide bomber outfit. More on the cow. Uh-uh, no. Now, this next one is of uh, a scarf. This has been getting a lot of this has been getting a lot of attention on social media because this thing is not just any scarf. This is a thousand dollar scarf from Fendi, which looks like a woman's private parts. I mean, there's nothing more or less to be said about that outfit. This next one is of a Mickey Mouse a sweat top, but for some reason the head of the Mickey Mouse goes into the garment, and when this woman wrapped it round her waist. It looks as though Mickey has shoved his head up her ass. <laughs> so, I don't know, people, this one needs to be rethought. And then finally, we have these hot gym the hot. tight things, you know, which have that ruched, ruffled thing going on between the butt cheeks, which also looks as though some kind of ruffled asshole action is happening there. Lululemon. Mm -mm. It looks like a man's arm. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a man. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of talk out there about driverless cars. <laughs> Could be a useful technology. But what about driverless trains? That's got to be a much better idea because, I mean, they're on the rails, right? And there's no other traffic. Well, not so fast. Out in Western Australia, in the Pilbara, they have those iron ore mines. And mining company BHP Billiton uses driverless trains to move the ore from the mines out to the harbour at Port Hedland, from where they send the iron ore off to China. However, one of their driverless trains, a massive bloody thing with 268 fully loaded wagons with iron ore in them and four locomotives, was going down the line being controlled from Perth, which might as well be on the other end of the planet, it's so far away, at which point the train stopped responding to commands. It took off on its own. Yes, literally. At some point, the controllers decided, listen, we're going to have to do something. So they got a guy out in his bucky to go and pull the train rails apart <laughs> and derail the damn thing. It ruined one and a half kilometers of rail line. Ouch. And the train itself, of course, has been completely wrecked. So as with the driverless cars, one wonders sometimes whether a 
single human being paid a reasonable salary may not have produced a better outcome.